Hey, good morning. This is Harsimran Singh. Today, we are very excited to launch new features. The very first feature of feature is like intake forms. We have added like new question types on intake forms. So if you go to the intake form, add a question type, you will see new options here, like rating, opinion scale, and a table. So rating allows you to like get the ratings, like your clients, they can add like number of stars, like they want to give you to your service. It depends on how you're going to use it. You can select like how many stars you want to provide them from them to select for. And you can add a label, like a sub label, you can make it required. Other is you know, like you can use it for NPS and net promo promoter scale. And so here you can add an opinion scale. And again, you can select like you want to make it like one to 10, you want get to them to select from one to five, you can add the sub labels how you want. You can create a table, you can add a table, like a question type of a table type. And then you can select like what kind of table you want to select. Like you want to select a radio button, checkbox, checkbox is multi-select, text box, drop down or numeric text box. And so you can create something like this like service quality satisfied not satisfied very satisfied responsive fire responsiveness satisfied not satisfied very satisfied you can again make it a row you can make it a required you can add new rows you can add new columns to this for example this is my checkbox type i can add a new column like this i can add a new row here text box is where they can enter the data and the drop down is where they can select the drop down which you have added so you can add more options here and you can add more rows here and they will select from these options which you have added so i already have this saved this form created and if i update it and if i view it i will show you like how it will look so they can rate your service like this they can give you the score and they can clear the selection if they want from this they can select like it's satisfied very satisfied and satisfied multi-select like they can do multi-selection like this text box they can enter the data and a numeric text box as well where they can enter the numeric data as well for example if you want to get them like how much is their worth like how much money they have like in different bank accounts all that kind of information drop down is they will get these options option three they can select option four and then they can do a submit so we are very excited about this update. Another update we have is like now we allow you to on the grids, you can group the data and you can aggregate the data. So for example, this is my invoices. And if I want to group all my invoices by client, so you will click here, you will say group by client. And if you want to aggregate it as well, for example, amount due. And if I go here, aggregations, I can select some. And now you see it shows the sum here at the bottom and you can make it average as well so you can click here you can change the aggregation to average so it depends on how you want to do it you can group it only thing to note right now is like this information this grouping and aggregation is only available on the page you are for example if you have like 100 records it will only group the first 100 or first 200 records on that that page if you have multiple pages it will not aggregate all of them it will only aggregate the data which is on that page so also now this is available on all the grids so activities matters leads you can do this grouping and aggregation how you want also in this update you like we have like now you can invite your leads to the client portal as well also, we are excited to launch the dialpad integration as well. It is in a beta, so you have to reach to our team to join the waitlist. And we will like we are looking to invite you like in the in the in, in a week or two, like all of you. Thank you very much. Yeah.